everyone, how are you? It's Dr. Burgess here. It's lovely to see you today. I've missed you so much. We've all missed you at Dane Bank. We've missed seeing you at the gates and saying good morning. I've missed saying happy Monday or happy Friday to you all. We've missed seeing you in the playgrounds and in the classroom. But what I've loved to see is seeing the learning that you're doing at home. I've been so proud of you and I've been watching some of the things that you've been doing and looking at them with your teachers and we're so very proud. So keep going with those things. Well done. I thought today that because I can't see you and because I can't actually say hello, it might be nice for me to do it through this camera. It might be a good idea for me to say hello and even share with you something that I love and something that I really enjoy. I thought you'd like that. So today I thought I'd read you a story, one of my favourites. What I did this morning is I went into my library and into my bookcase and I found some of my favourite picture books. Do you love picture books too? I certainly do. And I thought you might like this one. It's called A Bit of Company. Have you seen this picture book before? It's by Margaret Wilde, so she's the author and the illustrator, the person who did the pictures, is Wayne Harris. Let's read it together, everyone. Christopher was lonely because his mother was busy with the new triplets, Jerry, Josh and Jane. No one came to the doorbell and no one came to play. Sometimes Christopher felt so lonely that he wanted to scream and scream and scream. Sometimes he peeped through the hole in the fence and watched Molly McNamara next door. He wanted to say, hello, but she always seemed so busy. But Molly McNamara wasn't busy, not really, not at all. She was lonely. No one rang her doorbell. No one popped in for a chat or a cup of tea. Sometimes Molly McNamara peeped over the fence and watched Christopher. She wanted to say, good day, but he always seemed so busy. Sometimes Molly McNamara felt so lonely that she wanted to scream and scream and scream. On Monday morning at exactly 10 o'clock, she did just that. else was too busy to hear Molly McNamara scream, but Christopher heard. He squeezed through the hole in the fence and hurtled up the path to the rescue. But Molly McNamara didn't seem to need rescuing. She was on the back veranda drinking tea and eating chocolate cake. Why did you scream? asked Christopher. Did you see a monster? No, Molly McNamara said in a very small voice. I just wanted a bit of company. I'll keep you company, said Christopher, and he had a cup of tea and two slices of chocolate cake. Then Molly McNamara tucked up her skirt and showed him how to play hopscotch. He won. The next morning, Christopher's mother was busy bathing and feeding the babies, Jerry, Josh and Jane. Christopher felt so lonely that he wanted to scream and scream and scream. At ele exactly 11 o'clock, he did just that. Ah! Everyone else was too busy to hear Christopher scream, but guess who heard? Yep, yeah, that's right, Molly McNamara. She pushed open the gate and ran as fast as she could down the path to the rescue. But Christopher didn't seem to need rescuing. He was just sitting in the sandpit, quietly drinking orange juice and eating sliced apple. Why did you scream? said, said Molly McNamara. Are you hurt? No, said Christopher in a very small voice. I just wanted a bit of company. I'll keep you company, said Molly McNamara and she had a sip of orange juice and three slices of apple. Then Christopher rolled up his sleeves and showed Molly McNamara how to play marbles. She won. 
The next day, which was Wednesday, Christopher waited for Molly McNamara to scream. And Molly McNamara waited for Christopher to scream. But nobody screamed. So off went Molly to find Christopher. And off went Christopher to find Molly McNamara. They met at the fence. Let's have lunch together today, said Molly McNamara. Let's have it in my back garden, said Christopher. Then mum and the babies can come too. After lunch, Christopher and his mum and Molly McNamara played oranges and lemons. Then the babies, Jerry, Josh and Jane, began to scream and scream and scream. They must be wet, said Molly McNamara. They must be hungry, said Mum. Nah, said Christopher. They just want a bit of company. And he winked at Molly McNamara and she winked right back. Was that a good story? Did you like that? Do you sometimes want a bit of company? I know I do. So I hope that today that's been a nice bit of company from Dr Burgess to you and I hope that you're feeling a big warm hug from me too today and from all of your teachers too. We're so proud of you, we're missing you and we're really pleased that you're still learning and still doing all the things that you need to do um, to, keep, to keep happy and to keep safe and to keep secure. So girls, keep smiling, be kind to one another, keep having fun, keep learning and I'm looking forward to chatting to you again soon, maybe with a different picture book next time. Okay, bye.